Good morning, Finley Dreamers. Good morning, Mrs. Adams. And good morning, Finley Scholars. Good morning, Mr. Miller. Good morning, Finley family. Good morning, Mr. Kirby. And today we have a house full. <laughs> we have Miss Moulton, Alina, Nang, and Nurse Lori. Can't wait to hear what they have to say. It's going to be great news, of course. Well, it is a terrific Tuesday. And the students who are here at Finley Learning are going to be practicing how to be on a school bus and leave the school bus in an emergency. So they'll hear about the safety rules of a school bus and how to evacuate. Evacuate is a fancy word that means get out a different way. I, want, I'm, I bet some of you are thinking, why are we doing that when most of us aren't riding on a bus right now? Well, it is a state requirement that all students in Iowa know how to be safe in so many ways. You never know when you might be on a, a school bus or a city bus in the future. Just like we practice fire drills and tornado drills, we also practice bus evacuation drills. So your teacher will tell you more about that today. And even if it's raining, we'll finish that here at Finley. For those of you who are learning at home, we'll have it again next year because mm -hmm. every year we practice those things so that we know exactly what to do if there's ever an emergency. And practicing, Mr. Miller, is how we get better at everything. Yes, practicing to get better, but not perfect, of course. We keep working at it until it just comes to be an automatic routine in some cases. With that said, our routine's a little off, and that's good for us because we were going to start with Miss Moulton and what she has to say about something we're continuing to work on to reach goals on by the end of May. Then we'll go to Nang about successes in fourth grade. Then Nurse Glory. And then, of course, Alina with that shout out, and Mr. Kirby will handle that part. So, Miss Moulton, take it away. Okay, we've been practicing or uh, collecting pop tabs, and that's going to go until uh, May 31st, I believe. So, that's next week. Be sure and bring them in. And sometimes I have a Coke with my lunch. I usually only have maybe one a week, maybe two, but I did save my pop tab from last week and I need to get it in some one of the classrooms, plastic containers today. So when I put one in last week, I was so surprised that it was like almost halfway full. So this is fantastic. Keep up the great work of bringing those in. Yeah, in fact, you know, we made those small containers for pop tabs for each classroom. Someone made their own huge container. It's about that big around and it's in the office and there's, you know, going past their goal, exceeding their goal already. So hmm. thanks for that classroom. We really appreciate it. Nang, can you talk about fourth grade successes in your classroom? I know you have an example of that today. Okay, so my classroom is successful about how we treat each other. For example, uh, my class, my classmates, uh, we had a new student and uh, we treated her uh, like how we usually treat others. And that is, you, you use the word respectful, you know, before we got on here, is that correct? Yes. And, you know, because of your treatment, as you will, she feels very comfortable. She really feels good in your room and is doing her best job ever. In fact, I think she got a positive office referral for that very thing. See? So it really makes a big impact when you have such successes as that. And with that said, we have a successful nurse here too, Nurse Lori. Good morning, Finley. I just wanted to come on and just uh, explain a little bit about the mask wearing. I know that there was a change last week, but what I want to say is 
if your grown up sends you in Finley with a mask, wearing a mask, they feel like it's very important to continue to wear a mask. And so that way I would ask you to continue doing that. So that way we continue to keep each other safe. But I also wanna say with families, it's their decision to make. It's not each other saying we don't have to wear a mask. So I respect what families decide and what they wanna do with wearing a mask. So whatever somebody decides as a family, we respect that and we go with that decision of their family. So if you walk in with fin into Finley with a mask on, your family is assuming that you're wearing it throughout the day. So you know that I have masks or if you have any questions or if your family has any questions, they can always call me or you can always see me. So that is kind of where we're at with mask wearing. Like I said, it's a family decision, okay? Have a great day. Thank you, Nurse Lori, for always looking out for all of us, keeping us safe and respecting the wishes and choices that our families make because ultimately that's what's important. And it is important that we all treat each other with respect and we are kind and we are open, but it's also, I wanna remind us all to make sure that our self-talk is also being kind to ourselves. Sometimes it's really easy to say, oh, darn it, I messed that up, I'm so... And instead of saying something negative, make sure that you're taking care of yourself and being positive with yourself. So if I make a mistake, I might look at it as instead of a mistake, an opportunity or a chance to learn and how to make an adjustment. So just a reminder, it's just as important to, uh, to respect others as it is to take care of yourself. So make sure that that little voice in your head is loving yourself and being kind to yourself. Speaking of kind people, I don't know if there are anybody, I mean, there are lots of kind people, I would say, but I think Alina Roca's at the top of kind students. So Alina, how are you doing? Good. Do you have anything you'd like to add to this morning's meeting, the menagerie? I have a shout out. Shout out. I have a shout out for Mrs. Hoff teaching us good math and shapes. Excellent. I'm sure Mrs. Hall appreciates that. And it is important. I know that second grade gets into geometry. Man, the end of second grade math is geometry and you start some fractions you've learned how to look at the face of a clock and tell some time all of these skills are super important as you continue to cultivate your knowledge in those areas it's going to be really important for fourth grade but it also might be very important if you find yourself one day in college so how about a tuesday college cheer we got a lot of people ready for this one. One, two, ready, go. Two, four, six, eight. When was fifth grade graduate? 20, 20, 20, 32. Two, four, six, eight. When was fourth grade graduate? 20, 20, 20, 33. Two, four, six, eight. When is third grade graduate? 20, 20, 20, 34. Two, four, six, eight. When is second grade graduate? 20, 20, 20, 35. Two, four, six, eight. When is first grade graduate? 20, 20, 20, 36. Two, four, six, eight. When is kindergarten graduate? 20, 20, 20, 37. Dreamers, dream it. Dream, dream it. it. We believe. We believe. We believe. Yeah. <laughs>